your pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. Even as the stone of the fruit must break, that its heart may stand in the sun, so must you know pain. And could you keep your heart in wonder at the daily miracles of your life, your pain would not seem less wondrous than your joy. And you would accept the seasons of your heart, even as you have always accepted the seasons that pass over your fields. And you would watch with serenity through the winters of your grief. Much of your pain is self-chosen. It is the bitter potion by which the physician within you heals your sick self. Therefore, trust the physician and drink his remedy in silence and tranquility. For his hand, though heavy and hard, is guided by the tender hand of the unseen. And the cup he brings, though it burn your lips, has been fashioned of the clay, which the potter has moistened with his own sacred tears. Pain is like a hammer that breaks through our outside shell so that the peace and wisdom nestled inside may appear in our life. Without pain, there simply is no growth. If you lifted the same weight every time you went to the gym, you would never get any stronger. But if you slowly increase the weight and thus increase the pain, your strength will grow. And the same is true in all areas of your life. More pain means more opportunity for growth, if we allow it. And that's the key part. You see, most of us bicker and complain about the pain in our life, not realizing that it is the key to our happiness. It's what's going to get us out of the suffering we're in and soaring to new heights. If we could just realize this, our pain would not seem less amazing than our joy. And just as there are seasons on earth, there will be seasons in our life. We will have good days and bad days and everything in between. So enjoy the good days, but also appreciate and learn from the bad days, the days that bring you pain. Because if you look at it deeply, most of your pain is self-inflicted or self-chosen, as Khalil Gibran says. Our reaction to an experience is often what creates the pain, not the experience itself. For example, a loved one dying is something we all experience, but our reactions can be entirely different. Many might grieve forever and never find joy or purpose in their lives again. But some of us will grieve and then we'll grow. We'll be sad and then we'll be happy knowing that life moves on and that our loved one has returned home. So trust the physician, trust God, the universe, your highest self for the pain that it brings in your life. Because that pain is the bitter medicine we need to heal our sick self. And who doesn't want to be healed?